everyone, it's me, X Canadensis. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post new doll related videos almost every single day. And in today's video, I am so excited because Blip Toys, the creators of Squinkies, reached out to me and offered to send me some of the new Squinkies toys. And I'm really excited about these. So these were pretty popular during the time when I was toy collecting, like when I first started, but they kind of just flew under my radar a bit, like I knew of them. And ever since then, I've learned more about them and I think they're super super cool so I'm really excited that Squinkies have been brought back in their original form for us to enjoy today and these Squinkies toys are available on Amazon and I again received these for free so that I could share them with you guys in this video so I have this super special box here and you can see it says Squinkies are back it says they're Squinkies originals you've got the frog one I hope we get a frog one and right here it says we're back it's so cute Look at all the artwork. I love the style. I love the orange and purple too. It like really pops. And let's see what's in the box together, shall we? Ooh, it's hard to open. Okay, here we go. Ah, okay, <laughs> whoa. Okay, here's some fun facts about Squinkies for you. 500 million individual Squinkies have been sold. There are, oh, 50 million units sold in general. So like the packages, uh, 1500 different styles to collect. They're sold in over a hundred countries. If you line up every Squinkie sold end to end, they would go from Los Angeles to Sydney, Australia. And they were the toy of the year for girls toy of the year in 2011. And they also function as pencil toppers. So that is really cute and fun. And then check it out. Oh my gosh. Okay. So. <laughs> It says, welcome back, a soft and squishy surprise inside. Rings and things, big and small, friends and pets, collect them all. I'm so excited to check these out. So we have, oh, okay. So this was like a little cover. So there's a little cover here and it says, this is the Squinkies play set, Cupcake Surprise Bake Shop. And it has some instructions on how to use it. So I'll keep this here in case I need them. And look, here it is, the Cupcake Surprise Bake Shop. So let's get that out of here. Okay, and then on this side, we have the Squinkies bubble pack. It says remove cover to check out the Squinkies. Okay, I'm gonna close my eyes so that you guys can see them first, ready? Okay, is that, yeah, okay, there's the bubble pack. Are there any cool ones in there? Okay, three, two. Oh, it's a minute, oh, oh, okay. I'll close my eyes again. Okay, what do we see? <laughs> is there any cool ones? No, I'll get that out of there, okay. Now I'll open my eyes. Let's check it out, okay, so. There's four mystery, we got a turtle. We got a turtle one. So it looks like we have four mystery Squinkies and I think there's some bonus ones here, which is pretty cool. And it says Squinkies wave one here. And you can see all the different options on the back of this package. And let me move this box out of the way as cute as it is because it's time to get some Squinkies out of here. So it says there's over a thousand characters to collect. Woo, okay. It also says they're squishier than ever, which we'll just see about that. I have experienced some squinkies in the past, like I found them thrifting. So hmm, I think I'll start with these, at, or, sorry, <laughs> with these, and then we will check these out later because I don't know what the deal with those is. So this is what the packaging looks like. It says Squinkies Originals, which I assume is the name of like the re uh, released line. It says includes 12 squinkies, squishier than ever, this QR code. And it says tons of Squinkies for you to collect. And oh my God. Okay. The seal one. I really like the turtle one. It looks like there's several different colorways of each. Is there an alligator one? Cause there's an alligator one on the cover and I am interested in an alligator one. And it says note if left on pencils or other objects, Squinkies may warp or tear, which makes sense, right? Like if you keep them like that for too long. Okay. So let's open this up and see which squinkies we got shall we I'm really excited i've just i've never unboxed a squinky before i've just added the odd one to my collection through like thrifting and stuff okay so ooh. so really really exciting to see a lot of iconic brands from like the two the 2010s when i first started collecting coming back it's really exciting okay so see so each one comes in one of these little little balls whether it's a surprise ball or not and the reasoning for that is because the play sets are often like gashapon themed so they have this like really cool features i've seen some of them like back in the day with reviews back in the day like 10 years ago and oh my gosh okay so our first squinky is this lovely seahorse and i'll show you all of these up close in just a second 
Then we have this really cute little, I think it's a tiger. Yeah, I see stripes. So little tiger. And I love that they have painted details on them because they are very squishy indeed. And hmm, they feel very like they're squishy, but they're a bit firm. Oh, but this one's squishier. Interesting. Okay, so maybe different ones have different feels to them. I think this is a giraffe. I think that's what this one is. Very cute. Then we have, oh my god, is this a squirrel? Ah, oh, cute! Okay, so here is a little squirrel one with a little purple tail. Who's this? A little, like, schnauzer or something? These are so cute and fun and... I love it. I'm so, so excited about this. Then we have a pink and blue poodle. We've got, oh my gosh, it's a little horse with some horse tack on, but also this darling little hat. <laughs> so cute. And then I saved the best for last. Well, we don't know what the mysteries are. We'll see. Look at this turtle friend. So cute. This is my favorite one so far. Now for the mysteries. Let's see what's inside. So, oh, it's a little rabbit. At first I thought it maybe was some type of little bug, but it's a little green rabbit with a yellow carriage or something. And then, ooh, okay, so a horse, but without the little hat and stuff. So we've got another horse. And this one has like a very fun, colorful vibe and some little polka dots on the booty. They're not painted though. Then, oh my God, a kitten one with a little ball of yarn. Yeah, it's a ball of yarn. Oh, that's so cute. All right, last one, are we ready? It's inside, oh, a different dog. So maybe like a Yorkie with this one. Very cute, very, very cute. So we have a whole little field of squinkies here. We're gonna keep the little balls because they may come in handy later when we play with the playset. But now, Let's see what our special mystery squinkies provided by Blip Toys are. Oh my goodness, okay. Each of them in a little mystery ball. Oh my gosh, is this a little bulldog? There's a lot of different, I'm impressed how many different ones there are for like dogs, you know, there's not just one dog that they're doing different colors. Like I haven't gotten a single reused sculpt yet, which is impressive to me. This little monkey one. This is the one that, well, not the same color, but this is the monkey one. And got a little banana. This one is pink with the banana. Okay, then I gotta remember which ones I've opened and which ones I haven't. Go here. Okay. Oh, another little poodle. Okay, so this is our first sculpt that's reused, and there's nothing wrong with reusing sculpts. It's fun to see like the different colorways. So Interesting. We've got a blue and pink and then kind of a greenish blue and pink here. Alrighty, then. <laughs> oh, okay. There's a little schnauzer one. Yeah, that's the schnauzer. Oh, okay. So that's our first double, which is bound to happen. They're twins. <laughs> okay, then we have, oh, a green bunny. Got another one of the green bunnies. Then, oh, what a surprise, actually. Okay, that is our third green bunny. These are supplementary, so they're not ones that are, like, packaged. I feel like they just picked these one out randomly. Okay, ready? Oh, we've got this little Yorkie dog, so we've got a new colorway for the Yorkie dog. Then, here. Monkey in blue. So, oh, I think our last monkey. Yeah. So we've got a repeat of our monkey, which I think what's going on here, because I believe all of the ones we've gotten doubles of so far were the mysteries from this pack. So if I had to guess, the PR kit uh, was pulled from the like mystery pool that can be for this wave. That's, that's my theory right now. Okay. Oh my God. <gasps> this little piggy. Oh, this is one of my favorites. And after this, I will turn the camera around so that you guys can get a closer look. Little squirrel. Little squirrel. Oh my gosh. I didn't realize how cute the face on the squirrel was. All right. 
It's time. Let's get close-up looks at all of our squeakies so far. So starting off strong, we've got the little purple piggy and these are so cute. So you can use them as pencil toppers. Very cute. I really like this one. This is probably my favorite. We'll see because I'm getting a closer look at all of these. Then we have our two yellow squirrels. Alrighty. Then we have our two pink schnauzers. So it seems like in series one, there's a pretty limited amount of them. So I wonder how common it is to get doubles in the other cases. That's something to look out for. We've got these little poodle ones. So, so cute. And you guys are going to have to let me know if you're familiar with squinkies. I assume these are sculpts from the old set. But, like, are they similar colorways as the old set? Then we have this absolutely adorable yellow and pink giraffe. And I love the little polka dots. This one's highly detailed. Like, there's a horse that is green and blue and has a sculpt for spots but doesn't actually have the spots. But I think that's because the third color is this white on this bow. Oh, look at the little S for Squinky. Do they all have that? I hadn't noticed that before. Yeah, they do. Okay, here's the little monkey. We've got two of them. Super, super cute. All right, then we have a little kitten. Oh my goodness. All right. Little Yorkie friends here. Sorry if I'm getting the dog breeds wrong, by the way. Uh, we've got a tiger. Seahorse. Uh, seahorse is another favorite for sure i genuinely really like how the um piggy or sorry the squirrel looks too this horse also a favorite and this one is particularly squishy like certain ones are definitely squishier than others like this one is especially squishy whereas like the monkey is not as squishy but i think that's just because more of this one is hmm, i don't know i don't know how to explain it but anyway little horsey then we have Three green bunnies. The bulldog. This one's really, really cute. Big, big head on this one. And then saving the best one for last, we have this lovely little turtle friend. I really like this one. Oh my god. I love the blue and pink too. This one's extremely adorable. All right. It's time to check out the playset. So this is the Cupcake Surprise Bake Shop. And let's take a closer look at it like this before I get back behind the camera and, or get back in front of the camera and open it with you guys. So it says you insert a Squinkies coin or you can use like actual coins, which is actually quite interesting. And turn the dial for a Squinky Surprise. I really like the little drawings all over. And it seems like in series one, a lot of these ones aren't available. So hopefully they become available over time because I really like this guy and there's like a cool alien one if you can see him right there really like that design so and oh we've got i think these are exclusive squinkies that's what i was told at sweet sweet so that is very exciting in the playset and of course the playset utilizes all of the little surprise balls that you get so that is pretty cool and it says a soft and squishy surprise inside rings and things big and small friends and pets collect them all welcome to the squinkies bakery place the coin in the slot turn the dial and the fun begins open the cupcake to find a bake shop within Bake up smiles with pies and cakes. Your squishy friends are all it takes. Squinkies go back in their bubbles when playtime is done. Refill the cupcake for lots more fun. And then it looks like we get some human squinkies and a kitten. You get two of the little squinkies coins. And I, I appreciate that if you lose the squinkies coins, you can actually use pennies and dimes. I think that was really thoughtful of them to think of that when they made this. Welcome back, squinkies fans, squinktopians. I'm workshopping that. Give it some time. You'll, we'll see if it sticks. Let us unbox the Squinkies Bake Shop now. I'm very excited to check this out. When I was younger and like just seeing Squinkies around, I was always very intrigued by this Gasha theme that a lot of the playsets had at the time. So I'm very, very excited to have one of my own to test out and play with with you guys. And again, I'm so, so grateful to Blip Toys for sending these products to me for me to check out. And um, it says Cupcake Surprise Bake Shop, and it has some instructions here. I think we got this. I think we'll figure this one out. So, looks like very easy unboxing. You're going to cut a couple of things back here. That was loud. <laughs> You're going to cut just a few of these big zip ties. Which are a little bit difficult. And then, it should just pop right out, yeah. So, here it is. The Bake Shop. Lots of little rubber bands to remove. 
keeping it in place in the packaging, but as you can see, there it is. So you've got the little dispenser area, which there it is. You turn it and do your coin thing. I wonder if it works without a coin. We'll have to see. And how do you insert your squinkies? Fill the dispenser by moving the... Oh, it's the cherry! Oh my goodness, how... That is so smart to have it be, like, actually... That is so clever. Instead of just having, like, a big plug, it's an actual piece of the design. Oh, that is so cool. Okay. Let's get our exclusive squinkies out of here so that we can test them out in the playset. This is so exciting. So you just have to remove tape from the back and it'll pop right out. There we go. Come on out, squinkies. Here they are. Oh my gosh. And there is a bunch of furniture for your squinkies. And this is where that pencil topper gimmick comes in. So I imagine these were designed with pe like being pencil toppers in mind originally. And this is a similar thing with um, some toys that I had as a kid and I thought it was really cool. They used the like pencil topper gimmick to have a peg hole that they could use for other things such as these furniture pieces or gimmicks in the play sets. So, oh, and our squinkies coins, of course, we need those. Those are very important, They're very small the chair will have like a spot so that when you sit your squinky on it, your squinky will stay, stay put. So that is super cool. It comes with two chairs and they both have little blue hearts on them. It comes with this table, which can a squinky sit on that too? Why not? <laughs> and then you also get a little squinky's bed, which is really good for some of these squinkies, like the monkey who's already lounging. Looks like he's just laying in bed, being a little cutie pie. All right, what is this little area here? I am so intrigued by this. Okay, so let's take our exclusive squinkies from this playset and load them in here. Oh my gosh, okay. So first I'm gonna test it out without a coin just to see what happens, because I'm just curious about what will happen. And let's insert some of the other squinkies as well, just to give it more variety. <laughs> just drop that one. And it's super easy to put them back in the little balls and, of course, to get them out again. So do appreciate that. And I love, too, that you can choose to have the ones where you can actually see your squinky or you can choose to do the mystery ones because you'll have plenty of them if you're buying the expansion sets. All right. Now we can put the cherry plug back into place. And gosh, I, I love that this isn't just a little gumball machine sort of situation. It's actually got spaces like here's a little bedroom here. You can put that in there and then this is a little store over here so i guess that would be where the table and chairs would go because it's like a little cafe over here looks like a little sweet shop actually okay now we put our coin here right okay wait is that is that right yeah okay it's in then we turn the dial did it go in i think Oh my gosh, <laughs> it worked, okay. And oh, the coin comes out right here. I was wondering where the what that was, so it's the coin return. All right, let's do that one more time because I kind of turned the play, oh, you have to turn your dial back. Okay, let me show you. So you turn this dial, we'll probably, <laughs> that's not, okay. It's hard to do when I'm showing you, and there you go, it gives you you're squinky and it does not work without a coin it seems so yeah it doesn't seem to work with no coin so i've got two squinkies to share with you now two new squinkies so we've got this little blonde baby child the blue outfit and then we've got this brunette with a little pink onesie on the other one had a little blue onesie it's interesting um in the squinky verse there's people but the majority of them seem to be little creatures. So I, I would see myself playing with these similar to like any other brand that has like a lot of animal toys in there. Okay, so now let's do this one. There we go. It, okay, so that's one of our older ones. It works so smoothly. I'm really impressed. And you can just keep on. Oh, again, you, have to, you do have to turn it back to reset the mechanism. And then 
It's so smooth. Another one we've already had. This is so cute. This is so cute. Like having your own little, forgot to do it again. Having your own little gumball machine. And it works so like well. I'm very impressed by how easily it functions. All right, that is, oh, I didn't notice this. Is this just a soda? <laughs> I guess this isn't like a sentient squinky. It's kind of just a, oh, that explains the peg on the table actually. So the table is here. So that explains why there was a peg there. I mean, you can also just sit on the table. I would have used this as like a little, as like a little stage probably. Um, but yeah, so that's the soda. It's very large, I love it. All right, let us continue uh, every time. <laughs> Let's see. I just love that it doesn't like drop super aggressively and the coin comes out very quietly and very easily like it doesn't fly across the room and neither does the squinky i think that is really good like i think this was designed really well we've got a blonde girly in a little dress super cute there she goes the can stand as you can see all right, so I wanted to turn the camera around to show you the last few coming out of here. So I already turned it for this one, and as you can see, it's the horse that we put in there. So now let me show you. You reset your dial, you put the coin in, then you turn it, and the squinky comes right out. And again, it's super, super like smooth, and I love that. And it looks like we've got one more squinky in there, and this one is a little brunette girl in a dress. All right, one more. Luckily, we have one coin left. And you have to make sure that the, if you don't have a lot in there, make sure it actually gets in there. Um, but then, as you, oh, that one came right out. Okay, and this is the new kitten that this set comes with. And, oh, wow, she's cute. So my other kitten one is a totally different sculpt, as you can see. I like this one a lot. This is definitely one of my favorites of all of them. Super cute. So this is the new kitten, Squinky. There's that brunette girl again. We've got the blonde girl with the purple dress. We've got the blonde baby. We've got the brunette baby. And we've got the soda. And those are our six exclusives. Here's the bed up close. And you can have the baby laying in it or whoever else. Then we have this little table with a darling little tablecloth on it, which is clearly designed for this um, gentleman here. But, I mean, if you want someone to just be a star and be on the stage, that's also an option for you. Then we have the chairs with the little blue heart design on them. And it's really nice that they can sit in these chairs without, like, flying out or anything um, because it utilizes that gimmick that they have. So... Those are all the furniture pieces that this set comes with. Now let's check out the Cupcake House itself. So again, I think this is super cool that it's not just your little gumball machine or gashing machine. It's actually a play set as well for the squinkies to play in. So I love the design of this. I really like that the dial parts of it, like the, the gumball machine parts, they're really seamlessly put into the design. Like they're not necessarily hidden other than this, which is very well hidden. I'm very impressed by this actually. Doing a cherry design was very smart because the stem could be off to the side like that in order to be the thing that like keeps it, it like with the place that you don't lose it. You've got this little cupcake bakery sign, a little candle up here. And I love the see-through so that you can see your squeakies, but also it just looks really cool. And all the little painted details like the star sprinkles, the heart sprinkles, just all the sprinkles super super nice then this is where the coins return to you and let me show you that happening so you put the coin here and it gets held into place i guess you could probably try to push it all the way through but let's see what happens actually okay yeah but it doesn't seem like it'll free a squinky if you do that but anyway then you turn it like that you see how just careful and quiet that is which is very nice that it's so that's so nice it works really really well and i kept turning this the wrong way and it didn't break anything internally so that's also very nice if you accidentally turn it the wrong way it's fine and this the playset collapses really nicely too i wonder if this little it's not quite a large enough base to be able to like roll these around there i was just thinking like like you know those cat toys where like they roll the ball around anyway this is the door, which doesn't open super easily without the squinky coming out. And again, it's so it's so quiet, like it's so well engineered. And then these are the areas that are play sets. So this is a piece of furniture, technically. It's just attached to the play set. 
and this is a little cupcake shop, which of course that makes sense. Oh, I was calling it a candy shop earlier. It's clearly a bakery, the cupcake bakery, if you will. And there's a little kitchen as well. And you could easily just use like this as the kitchen for your little house. As the other side is kind of a little house because you've got this bedroom area. So there's the door, this cute little plant. You've got a little like china cabinet, I guess. Super, super cute. And you can put the furniture in here and shut it in there as well, which is very nice. So it acts as storage and you can store a bunch of your squinkies up top too, which is very, very nice. And I think it would be smart too with the coins to actually store them in one of these areas so that you don't lose them. There is no designated spot for the coins, which I think would have been very cool. But as you can see, you could just keep them in there. And then there you go. So a very, very nicely made playset, super, super fun. I approve. This is very cool. I can't wait to see what's next from Squinkies because, I mean, this is super fun and I can just imagine like a more deluxe playset that I, I just imagine there's like little areas for the Squinkies to like roll through like a marble game or something. I don't know. Because again, I didn't get to experience the original Squinkies very much. So I'm very, very intrigued and these are awesome. These are awesome. Thank you so, so much again to Blip Toys for sending me these products so that I could share them with you guys. I think that these are absolutely adorable. I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye out to see what else Squinkies comes out with. And I will have links in the description. They aren't earning links for me. They're just if you guys are interested in buying these. As of right now, I believe that these are online exclusive. At least that's the last I heard. They might be available in like specialty retailers, but overall they're not available at like regular retailers. And I hope that they are someday because these toys are really, really cool. And I remember them being super popular when they came out. They just didn't end up in my collection for whatever reason. And I mean, this is such a high quality, solid piece. And this seems to be like one of the like smaller types of play sets. And I can imagine them making larger ones. So, I mean, I'm sure they did back in their heyday. So, yeah, very, very impressed with these. And again, very, very thankful to Blip Toys for allowing me to... Um, learn of a new toy line. I generally stick to the toy lines that I know because I have such a large toy collection, so it's really, really cool to be able to experience a new toy line in, like, well, a, an old favorite toy line, but new. And it's new to me, and if it's new to you guys, let me know what you think. And if you were an original Squeakies collector, how are these? Do they hold up to the originals? They're definitely a very interesting type of squishy. Um, but I love them. They're so cute. I really love the way that they do the eyes. I think that they did a really good job doing the eyes with not necessarily having like a lot of paint. Like some of them don't even have like actual white paint on the eyes. It's just the black stamp, but it looks really, really good. And then other ones do have the white paint stamp on the eyes. It just depends on the design, I guess. But like this one doesn't. And I love the way this one looks. And I don't believe the squirrel did. No, the squirrel actually does. And the squirrel seems to have like a brown eye too, not black eyes. It's very interesting. Very, very interesting and they are adorable. And also, if you know anything about squeakies other than these, please let me know who your favorite was. I'm, I'm gonna need to see them. <laughs> all right, for all this time, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Bye!